Welcome to our database integration video. Connecting your data to DataPine is fairly straightforward and a four-step process. Let's walk through how to do it with our live demonstration. On the first page of the database integration settings, we will ask for technical information regarding your database such as IP, port, and so on. We recommend that you have this section done by your IT department. You can see on the right side that are explanations and instructions for each field. Also on the right side, and an important thing to note, you can see our IP which, in most cases, you will need to whitelist on your server and firewall in order to allow data pine access to the data. The connection by default is via SSL. You can also use SSH by either using our SSH key which you can find in the documented link here, or your existing SSH key. If you require a VPN setup, you can just let us know. The most important part of this section is at the bottom. Here you will see we can work with your database in two ways. The first option is schema connection versus view connection. Connection. Our recommendation is that you do not integrate more than 80 tables within the tool, otherwise, it might be inconvenient for end users to find necessary data fields. So, if your database has 80 or fewer tables, go ahead and select the schema option. But if your database has either substantially even more tables or a very complex data structure, please prepare pre aggregated and structured views in your database, and then select View in the options. The second important decision is whether you would like to use our data warehouse or if you would prefer to store your data remotely, which you can select here. Using our data warehouse would mean that all the data that you select in the second import screen which I will show you in a second, will be transferred to our data warehouse in Frankfurt, Germany, and from there, we will update the data once a day. The advantages of using our data warehouse is that you will be able to make cross-database queries, that we will not penetrate your servers, and, in case you only have a production server, our data warehouse offers high-speed performance. The the only disadvantage is that the data query won't be real-time. If you choose our remote connection, on the other hand, we will not fetch and transfer any raw data through our server, but instead, send the queries to your server which will perform the analytics and only send back the results. The advantages of the remote connection are that everything will be near-time, and no data will be transferred, but the disadvantage is that performance will be reliant on the speed and capabilities of your own servers. In the next tab labeled Import, we select all the fields and tables that are relevant for us. There we can deselect the unnecessary fields and the ones that are restricted by data privacy. In the References tab we see the database metadata, the foreign keys that have been extracted automatically from your database. In case you do not have any yet, or you would like to add additional ones, you can do it here, by simply clicking on a field and the table, and then selecting the relevant field and the connected table. Next, we have the possibility to re-label the fields and tables to make them more clear for the end users so they know exactly what is what. And here is the last tab. If we would have selected the data warehouse option earlier, we would see a button saying start data transfer. However, since we selected real-time remote connection, we are now already done and can proceed to the analyzer to create the first chart.